and welcome to this video. So today um, we're going to be doing something very exciting and I'm going to be trying to make the Nora cardigan. stumbled across my video for the first time which is pretty likely because I've only just starting started to post videos then thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video um, if you do love this video I would love if you subscribed and hit the bell and that way you'll see my next video after this one which I'm planning to do very soon so so today I'm going to be attempting to do the Nora cardigan from Tilly and the Buttons which was a free gift in the Simply Sewing magazine this August so it's brand spanking new um, release and I'm going to give this a go today um, I'm going to be doing some modifications to this just to suit my personal style um, but I'll also create another video giving my full review and, and sort of key points of what I thought about the pattern in itself. So yeah, if you're excited to see how this turns out, keep on watching. Um, but otherwise I'll take you along um, my process with sewing this cardigan. A little bit of my history is that I don't really do that many sewing patterns. I do tend to um, construct pieces according to my measurements, etc, etc. Um, so yes, it's been a little while since I've done a sewing pattern and it should be very interesting, but I'm very excited. Um, I am planning on doing a couple of modifications on this. I do want to make this a super long line cardigan. It comes available in a cropped or a long line. I want to do a long line, which when I mean long line, I mean down to my calves. Um, because I just love that style cardigan that really like hits my personal style um, and is perfect for autumn. I think yesterday was the first official autumn day, which was very sad. Hence I'm mourning with my black jumper dress, which can I just point out? I just absolutely adore I'm a bat wing. I do also love autumn anyway. Um, I've just done a fabric ready for the autumn season so I'm going to be excited to show you that as well um, I will show you my plans for the autumn I've got some really like cool things that I'm super excited about so I will show you that as well oh there's just so much going on um, so yes today I'm going to be sewing this along with you um, and I'll let you know how I get on so let's get into it lovely oh heavy I would actually say it's probably medium weight because it's just heavy because of the amount of of it that there is um, I think there's over three meters here so um, yeah um, but yeah it's this lovely um, knitted jersey fabric with a bit of stretching um, it's got these little indented or a probably better word is embossed with the white spots so there's a lovely texture to this feels really warm feels perfect for sort of autumn winter um and it being black and white and monochrome i think it will go with just so many things um but it does really stand out with the print so that's what i'm going to be working with I've not worked with this kind of thickness of a fabric in a jersey fabric before um so it could be quite interesting it's saying here if you want a long line you do need um, 2.3 meters by 115 centimeters which yeah I've got more than that yeah recommended fabric medium to heavyweight low stretch knit fabrics which I think is pretty accurate description of what I'm going to be using so it only says there's three pattern sheets which is interesting bit of ASMR Lovely, so 
I must say, I think the last um, pattern that I done, and that was quite a long time ago now, was um, a vintage pattern. So um, it's nice to see a bit more of a modern one. So got the instructions. Uh, it's got the cutting layout on there. Um, stitching terms. Um, making the carding, assembling the carding, adding the facings. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty comprehensive and there's coloured images on there, which is great. Yeah, also to mention, this is my first Tilling the Buttons pattern. So if I look surprised that there's coloured photographs on here, it's because I'm not quite in touch with Tilly's patterns. Um, this is a first for me. Um, so you've got pieces A, B and C. And let's see. Right, so they're not cut out yet. So I think that's going to be the first task. Let's do that. Okay, so I've decided to go for a size 12. Um, mainly because that's what fits, fits the bust measurements and also I would rather this um, pattern be more um, oversized um, so I can wear things underneath and I can always nip it in if I really need to so I'm going to go a little bit bigger um, I'm going to start cutting out the pattern pieces now so let's do that first I'm going to do actually size 10 which is a size three in the pattern. Ta so the pieces are all cut out. Oh my God, that took such a long time. Forget how long these things take. Um, so I've got six pattern pieces here. Um, I'm just going to um, lay them out in the fabric and uh, figure out, I'm not going to do it the same way as the recommended simply because what they've done is they've placed the, um, the bodices near the top and because I want to lengthen the, the length of it um, I want to have them at the bottom so that I can play around and see how much fabric I've got to make it long. Um, and what I probably will also do is pin it up on my mannequin as well, just to make sure that I'm happy with the length. I don't think I'm going to put the pockets on, to be honest. Um, these style pockets, which are just the square ones, I just don't really use. I don't know. I'm going to decide at the end if I need if I feel like it's going to make it um, better than I add it, but. These just look really big and I don't know if they would just flop on me. See, I'm going to leave that one out. Okay, so I think we're the right height now. Yes, perfecto. And now I'm going to pin the bodice pieces down and just see where it comes up to. Why does it look like I feel shorter than her? No, that's right. So let me get my pins out. So this is one of the front bodice, which is going to be this bit here, which is going to be the shoulder seam. At the minute it would come to, so it would just cover my bum basically. If I wanted it down to the calf, so from here, I measure it from my half, so that would be 48 centimetres extra. Do I want it that long? I do like them long. I even might want it even longer than that. So potentially I want to add another 60 centimetres on. So I'm going to just, first of all, just kind of place them out and make sure I've got enough fabric and then we'll take it from there. So we are now in my summer house. Um, number one, it's sitting right in here. And number two, there's probably people mowing their lawns because that's all people seem to be doing around here nowadays. Okay. Ooh. So I've got my instructions. 
instructions here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get hold of the salvage edge and fold this in half. Now this isn't a full um, width because there's been bits chopped out or is that just a dodgy side? Who knows? But yeah, it's not full so let's try and do this as accurately as possible. I have to wait a minute until I figure this one out. So here she's all lined up uh, right along the selvage edge. Excuse my shoes. Um, as you can see, yeah, they're not, it's not a full three metres, there's a couple of cutouts at the end, but um, yeah, I think we can make use of that. I'm, I'm going to pop the pattern pieces um, on top and I'll show you what that looks like once they're all down. I'm going to be doing this layout, so we're going to do the, we'll do that one, we'll do the back bodice here first on the fold. Okay, so the patterns are down. Um, it's taking probably a little bit more fabric than I anticipated. Um, one, because of the cutout at the top, that's a bit annoying. Um, and two, because I'm adding and extending the length. So um, yes, I'm going to um, show you what that looks like and then I'm gonna start cutting the fabric. So yeah, here we have it. We have a few pieces on the fold. Um, as you can see here, I've um, left gap here for the extra length and then we've got the sleeve so yep okay so I've got all my pattern pieces cut out and ready I'm just going to start pinning them down now um, as per instruction and start sewing Okay, so this is the um, back for this. So what I'm going to do is I open this up, and then I'm going to get the. I don't know if you can see from there actually. Let me bring you down. Okay, so this is the back for this. This is the two front bodices, and we're going to put right sides together. Line this up here, find the little notch notch, make sure they match up. Indeed. And then what we need to do is sew along here first on both sides, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've done the shoulder seams, and what I'm going to do now is turn it the right way out, and then we're going to pop the um, sleeves on. So this is the shoulder seams, this is the back panel but the front panel. We have the arm sleeve here. We're going to take one sleeve, right side stick together to find the top which is this curved section here. So the right sides are together and I'm going to first of all match up this notch here, pin that down, okay find the other notch Pin that down. update time. Um, so we've attached the sleeve, so we've got the shoulder here and the sleeve and the bottom of the sleeve has also been sewn. Now the next part was to continue sewing down the length of the cardigan, however I decided that I did want a pocket but not the pockets that were supposed to be 
with this because um, in the winter you just like to have your hands warm, don't you? And I found this pattern from Tilly and the Buttons as well on their website. And I downloaded it and printed it out. And it's four little um, inseam pockets. So I'm going to have a little scoot around my fabric stash um, and find something a little bit thinner that will be a good pocket. Um, and then what I'll do is pop them into the seams. But I kind of want to try on so far what it looks like. So. I'll show you. Hopefully you can see me over there, but we're going to turn this the right way out. Okay. And this on. Feels a little bit big, doesn't it? Mm. Also feels like the sleeves are too long. I do like the length. It's fully on the floor. Well, no, it's to my ankles. Um, I would have the pockets around here, but does it look too big? I think the sleeves are too, way too big, way too big. Mm, I think I need to put her on the mannequin because I can't really understand otherwise, but I think, let me mark where I would want the pockets to go, I just want them all kind of around here, yeah, okay, so let me pop that on the mannequins, I can understand what's going on, but yeah, it does look really cool, doesn't it, just is a little bit, I think the sleeves are too wide, and too long, hmm, do I leave the sleeves alone, hmm, I'm thinking pockets and maybe a side slip, but yeah, it does look pretty good, doesn't it, Hello, morning. It's another day. Um, I forgot to, well, to be honest, I was really exhausted yesterday and couldn't be bothered to sign off. Um, I finished off a couple of little bits. I, as you can see here, it's now looking like a finished piece. Um, what I did, what I did was was um, narrow this a little bit because this was a little bit too big. It was just sort of crumpling up on me. Um, I've done the hem. Here, so you're able to roll it up and still have some pattern. Um, I did decide, I might have mentioned this already in the last update, um, but I did decide to, instead of putting the square pockets in, is to put in the um, sort of side pocket, inseam pockets. Um, I think I've got it here. So I've just ordered some. Um, lining fabric just in black just so that it doesn't sort of look really obvious i want it to be kind of like a secret pocket and i don't want it to be lumpy so i don't want to use the same material um, and then i'm going to use the tilly and the buttons in the seam um pattern to do so i also wanted to make this into a wrap style um cardigan it's kind of turning into a coatigan to be honest um, and I'm not mad at it at all. Um, I've got quite a lot of extra fabric, um, so I thought I'd use it up on this project. Um, and so I got one of my old coat belts, because what I want to do is create a matching belt. And I just wanted to see if this was long enough, really, so I know how long to do the belt, to do a proper bow tie. Let's see. Well, that's not a very good bow tie but you can get the idea i think that's enough isn't it especially because this one's a bit stiffer and the one that i'm going to be using is a little bit more um flimsy and flexible can't remember if i told you i've done the interfacing so i've done the interfacing on here i haven't pressed it yet so the shape is not quite you know how it's going to um be in the end um so today what i'm going to do now is i'm going to finish off the bottom hem so this is the interfacing and this is the actual cardigan and what I'm going to do is fold this up and run a seam along here um, finish off the edges but yeah I've tried it on and it does look really cool so far and um, I like the oversized look because you can kind of wrap it round, do a big tie I was then thinking should I do a collar around here 
but I think that'd be a bit too much. I think it looks nice with the sweeping neckline that it's got um, at the moment. You can start to see the drop sleeve here. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I got a bit carried away yesterday and we're just doing the last little bits and bobs. But yes, I'm pretty super excited. I think it's gonna look really nice. And I think I'll, um, apart from the pockets and the, and the end seam, I think I'm gonna be able to finish that today. So that's great. So yeah, let's start on the bottom seam. Okay, so I've done the, um, I've folded the interfacing so there's a nice, nice neat little corner here. Um, I want to hem this after I've done the pockets and the side seam that goes all the way down so I'm going to leave that for now um, and now what I'm going to do is measure the belt that I've got so this is the length that I wanted to use the width of the belt is 15 millimeters and I'm going to use a 15 millimeter seam allowance so if we do eight we do eight as the width lengthwise. Uh, 150, 170 centimeters. So let me cut up my fabric and then we'll start. Okay, so I was using some of the scrap fabric because I do have a really long piece in the rest of my fabric, but I really don't want to break into that because um, it's kind of slap bang in the middle of the fabric and I really have quite a bit there that I could make another um, garment. So what I did was I got one of the scraps and just cut them up into lots of strips like this. So these are 13 centimeters across, which allows for five centimeters on either side once folded and a 15 millimeter seam allowance on both sides. Um, and I've got four of these each measuring 60 centimetres so actually it's going to go over to 200 centimetres or something um, which is perfect because I want a little tapered edge um, so yeah so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to join all of these together into like one long strip and then I'll check back in okay so they've all been joined together into one long strip um, and then what I've done is I've folded it in half as you would and then I've um, created the little tapered edges already. Um, I might exaggerate that a little bit more actually because I think once you fold it the other way it's going to not be as um, obvious. That's it, so they're a bit more dramatic. And then what I'm going to do now is turn them the other way and start stitching all the way down. Um, you probably should pin this but I really can't be bothered because it's pretty long. Um, so yes, let me do that first of all. Okay, so they're all joined together, all the seams are done. What I've done in the middle though, is I can find it, yeah. So I've left um, like a few inches of the space there just so I can turn it the right way out. So um, the tips are done. I've cut off the excess fabric so it doesn't get really clumpy. Um, and yeah, I'll just turn this the right way out. Um, I was thinking of maybe putting some belt loops on. I do have, again, some like little tiny squares of fabric that I could still use. Um, because I haven't done the side seam yet, I think I could probably do one of those. So I might, might, I might make a belt loop. For this um, and yeah I think after that I'm pretty much done I just need to press it all because it hasn't been pressed yet at all there we go there's the belt which looks great actually uh, and you actually can't see that there's lots of little ones attached together so that's brilliant um, now with the belt loops what I'm going to do is probably use this little strip here, because actually that's a perfect size. Perfect. Um, you can just use um, 
a safety pin to do these but I do find this a little bit easier so I'll link the one that I have down below I think it's the hemline um, but yeah I'll link it down below so there's my two belt loops and my belt and what I'm going to do now is press the um, cardigan okay the plan earlier was that I was going to wait for the lining to arrive However, impatient me wants the project finished and realistically it's going to be at least three days until that fabric comes here. So um, I found some viscose. Um, I don't have that much black stuff actually in my fabric stash but this is the closest that I can find and it's very pretty. Um, obviously you're not really going to see it, I just, I just didn't want any majorly different bright colours to show just in case so I'll just have to be really careful that that doesn't peek through um, so yeah I'm going to use this um, Tilly and the Buttons pattern to make the pockets um, it's already ironed so I'm just going to cut around the fabric so um, I folded this in four so we can create four of these and back to front pin this on top and I'm just now cutting through um, these so that I've got the four pocket pieces perfect good so let's take these pins out put those away because I have a tendency to knock those over which isn't great right so we've got the four pieces here so we've got one pair like so and then we've got another pair here so what i need to do first is i need to attach these to the actual cardigan so let me get the cardigan so here i'm actually ironing the belt um i'm not quite sure what happened in terms of the footage for making the pockets however that just seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth so i don't have any footage of that but um, I basically iron out the jacket and it's all done. So here are the pockets and yeah, I didn't wait for the new fabric to arrive. I was too impatient, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I may replace the pockets for a plainer fabric, but for now it's fully functioning and I just absolutely love it.